Thanks for joining us on Bloomberg Point. I am here at the Yalahanka Air Base outside the Bangalore city at the 11th edition of Aerospace and Defence Exhibition, the Aero India 2017, which is also considered as Asia's biggest air show. Now, to put things in perspective, this year about 500 companies from about 30 countries are participating in this air show, and there are about 53 fighter jets are on display. Now, to talk more about what is Aero Show all about? I have with me Sandeep Mehta, uh, Group Captain. Thank you, Sandeep, for speaking to Bloomberg Point. Glad to show. So, so, so I want to begin with understanding. So, what is uh, Aero Show about, and how important an Aero Show is for that? For a country like India, which right. has vast defence needs, uh, we also have large civil application. We are a developing nation, and uh, you know we like to produce as much as possible in India. Right to be self-reliant. Mm -hmm. So for us, such exhibitions hold a very important, uh, very big importance right. for, for the industry as right. well as for the users. Right. Like you can see in this exhibition, mm -hmm. the users, be it defense forces, army, navy, air force, mm -hmm. police, they all come here, civil customers come here, right. people display their equipment and this becomes an exchange platform mm -hmm. to understand the technology, right. what is available and also what is the need of a user. Right. And, and actually, we are standing behind a star, which is HTT 40. So, so tell us what it's about. HTT 40 indeed is a star of the day because in this 11th edition of Aero India, right. it made its debut flight. Right. And uh, this is HTT stands for Hindustan Turbo Trainer. Right. And this is developed by HAL. Though so it is in a initial stages of development, right. and it needs to pass a lot of muster. Mm. Uh, before it can be actually employed in training load right. because uh, there are a lot of uh, specifications which it has to meet but okay. at the same time uh -huh. it is a giant step forward because exactly. because this is what we need for our academies be right. it army navy air force mm -hmm. and also for civil flying clubs right and uh, what better than having your own indigenous aircraft manufactured right. by ha right exactly and you know so this is the 11th edition as we said for that. So what has changed over the time and what's so special about this year's Aero Show? This Air Show, like last two, I've been focused on Make in India theme. And with each successive Air Show, right. we keep learning our lessons. Right. And you will find this time, even in the morning inaugural show you would have seen, the flow of traffic, the control, the administrative arrangement. Right. I must compliment the team of the Air Force Station Yalanka the Aero India organizing team right. for making wonderful arrangements mm. and people come from all over the mm. world to visit this. Right. So firstly it is a showcase event right. and it's a platform. Mm -hmm. So the companies get to see, they get to participate. Today in the afternoon mm. we have a planned uh, conference right. by, by CM mm. of uh, Andhra Pradesh. Okay. This is in a bid to woo ah. industries and investors. Right. So like that, there are a lot of business to business meetings. Right. There are a lot of uh, you know commercial interactions which take place. A lot of uh, deals get sealed mm. during these kind of things. So they are, they play a very important role. We have right. so many across the globe. Right. Uh, we have in Saudi Arabia. We have in uh, Singapore. Yeah. You have in France. Mm. So this uh, Aero India has also made a name for itself now right. by virtue of sheer its size and the number of people who visit. And the, and the area, the floor area which it covers, right. is indeed very, very plotted. You know, this was my first, uh, actually, to be honest, uh, the, I, first, the first I first, this is the first time I visited an aero, aero show. And I was, it was a spectacular ex uh, experience, you know, I saw these fighter jets doing, so carrying out sorties, these kind of, carrying out all kind of, you know, stunts. So, so we, we, I, there are a lot of, you know, these jets and helicopters. We, we, I, I can see a light utility helicopter right behind us. I think it's, it's also by HUL. Yeah. So tell us about that. This particular helicopter behind me is a light utility helicopter being made by HUL. Right. It is, uh, it is uh, a totally indigenous effort. Right. Uh, likewise, you have uh, another helicopter, black colored, you can see standing next to it. That is called Rukla. It is, it is the attack version of okay. the of the light utility helicopter itself. Right. And uh, they they are all meant to mm. fulfill some purpose, mm. some need that the Indian Defence Forces have. Right. Army for reaching its troops and equipment at small remote regions right. in the mountains. Right. Likewise, light attack helicopter mm. for taking on the enemy. Mm in different type of terrains where right. it is not possible to reach by you know the ground mm -hmm. or in that speed or in that time frame right so so we need to modernize 
and what better than uh, produced by HAL because it's your indigenous effort. Right. And, and, and there was a lot of uh, you know indigenous uh, aircraft on display uh, during uh, during the inauguration session today. So so how is making Make in India initiative is shaping India as uh, aeronautics? Uh, yeah, that, that that was one very proud moment when you saw Tejas doing the fly past in the morning. Right. You had a formation of helicopters. Right. Then you had another formation in which uh, the Donia also flew, mm -hmm. and you had the HT240 flying. Right. So you had a whole range mm -hmm. of indigenous aircraft mm -hmm. doing the flying, and I think this is the first time that such a that the entire range was mm -hmm. covered in 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 one air show, and all of them were HAL. Right. And uh, you saw the helicopter wave. It was a huge. I think it had had more than 12 helicopters. Right. Uh, you know, they they had LUH, they had the Rudra. They had the Cheetals. Okay. So all these are variants, mm. and uh, Cheetal is also a advanced version of the old Cheetah hel uh, helicopter. Yeah. And uh, one feels so proud to see uh, the whole range uh, being produced by in India, uh, right here in Bangalore. Right. And lastly, one of the sense of India is also looking to procure. Uh, It's a very technical process. Mm -hmm. There is a lot of evaluation required, right. and more importantly, these are there. Are, there are many other considerations, of, like including technology transfer. Okay. And, and exactly, our requirements are spelled out. We are looking at variants, mm -hmm. and uh, the companies offer, and how much technology they transfer. Because these are all very high technology equipment, right. and uh, most of the cases, it is it is an integration of technology being produced in different places. Right. You know, they, they call it global logistics of supply chain. Right. To manufacture one aircraft, mm -hmm. so there are some critical technologies which, if we don't have, we will like to partner, make a strategic partner yeah. who can share this technology with us. So that benefits us in our other programs also. So Make in India program is is a giant step forward towards achieving self-reliance. Right. You know, when we can have these manufacturing hubs in India, in India itself, yeah. apart from generating employment and business.